Alright, hello everyone, Raybar09 here, bringing you another Pantheon Dominion game. Uh, I will be fast forwarding through it, and I am doing a dual commentary with my friend Rice. What's up guys? And we're just going to bring you some action. <laughs> All day. Alright, well, pretty much what's going on here is a fast forwarding, just because Dominion can get pretty boring at times, and there's That's almost... A solo bottom. Yeah, and there's almost zero strategy involved on top of it, so... Pretty much. Just send one bottom, four top, and hope your team is better than the other one. <laughs> I can't see what item you got there. Oh, I've got uh, a boots and two long swords. Oh, so you're gonna rush that brutalizer? Yeah, I I like the armor pen because Heimerdinger can uh, be more supporty, uh, so he he can build armor to a uh, you know counter the fact that I just build straight attack damage. I actually yeah. did lose the tower on that minion push, but then I killed Heimerdinger, got the gold for killing him, plus the gold for both the turrets that went down with him. Yeah, plus also Heimerdinger at your bottom is probably one of the most strong solo bottoms in the metagame right now. Yeah, he does get both those turrets, and I just ulti onto him, and he just doesn't even stand a chance. I don't even know why he's bothering. Are you going to be for some Merc Treads sooner or later? Uh, I already I just got them, actually. <laughs> oh, I can't see very well. Yeah, I got the Merc Treads and the Brutalizer on my last trip back. And I okay. pretty much just run around right here. I don't even know what I was doing. Just running around. Going to Africa? No, no, I didn't go all the way to Africa. But I I mean, I was like like sailing across the Atlantic. And then I was like, why am I going to Africa? There's nothing there. So I came back. Oh, okay. It's kind right. of surprising that Pantheon took on a Heimerdinger in the bottom lane. I, I actually usually play bottom when I play, whenever I play, really, no matter who I play. And then I I just be back real quick, I pick up a, a Phage, and then I ulti back in. I get another Heimerdinger kill, and um, <laughs> I believe I get the tower here, because the minions walk off the map and die, or off the screen and die. Because after you, they capture that point, there's actually a little spot there at the bottom where they go and die. So they did not come over and kill me, which was awfully nice of them. And I believe all I picked up there was a no magic mantle, just for the resistance against Heimerdinger. Are you going to build it into anything? Yeah, I built it into a... Getting my third Heimerdinger kill there. I built it into a... A hex drinker. Oh, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, I get Especially I get in with all the fast pace. It's also great to have that spell spell and vulnerability for a short time until it spells shields broken. Yeah, I picked up the the first of the two long swords for that uh, for that item. Um, I usually don't push. I pretty much just defend because with Pantheon's passive, it makes great defense because it blocks the next source of physical damage. So, is uh, one of his things gets blocked. I don't remember what it is. It might be the missiles, but those those can hurt pretty badly if you're not careful. It might also block a turret shot. It does, and I just like I just blocked uh, I blocked him there. They they always block auto attacks, and I yeah. got him there. And that was my fourth Heimerdinger kill, and then I went on to uh, take the tower. With whoever that was that came down to help me. I didn't even remember. The uh, impressive Heimerdinger they got there. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then I pretty much just lay back as Ramus comes in. And then... As I said, I pretty much defend. Our team's got three points. We're up about uh, 70, 70 points right now. So there's really no reason to push and let them take the lead. I mean, Especially here. Since you got that quest point right behind you there. Yeah, I do get a little bit aggressive here, and I do neutralize it, but I do not get the get the the down. 
or the, the quest completed. And I, I actually die here, yeah, go figure. But they, surprisingly enough, they do not push and finish the, and complete the quest. And I do jump in here, uh, unfortunately Urgot does flash away. I do have my Yomus and my Hex Drinker now. And here we are with uh, Trindamir. I jump in. Unfortunately, Heimerdinger was able to get away, but while I was chasing him off the map, Trindamir was able to capture the point and give us a 4 to 1 capture ratio and the quest completed. Which, even if you don't hold that point for very long, it's still good that your whole team got that quest buff. Yeah, even though Trindamir, Trindamir, Jarvan, and I all just died with it. But now we are up 300 to less than 100 with a 3 to 1 capture ratio. And I just ulti into the middle here. Here, the double kill's coming up. I spear him, and I get the crit double kill. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. And I do I die here? Yeah, I think Urgot kills me here. No, nope. yep, Urgot kills me here. <laughs> I... Cool. I think he does get this tower, maybe. No, no, he dies. No, no, he doesn't die, but he doesn't get the tower. And then, oh, yeah, they got it. Never mind. <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal, because especially those bottom turrets, the the only real big deal is if they're quests, because <coughs> so easy to take back for your team since everybody spawns so close to them. Well, yeah, and not only that, it was only a 3-2 to two capture ratio, so our, our score was only going down one at a time regardless. So it's not like we were missing out on a lot. I do ulti in. Um, I believe four times is all I kill Heimerdinger, but now we are up, it looks like 261 to a victory. And that <laughs> is the game. 